Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we're taking a look into the charts and it has been an interesting day. Why? Well, the S&P 500 has been going up, oh sorry, over here, and the Dixie has been going up as well. S is the Nasdaq Top 100 up, which is weird. Usually um, the dollar goes up, everything else goes down, and the other way around. We can see the dollar uh, broke this trend line over here. Big resistance. They broke it with some sort of inverse head and shoulders. Let's go over here. Uh, shoulder over here, head over here, right shoulder. This is the target right now. But it is not that bad. It's usually not really something we want to see. Um, just because, um, like I said, if um, the dollar goes up, everything else goes down, but we can see at the same time on the daily um, the S&P 500 is going up as well. They are against resistance right now. This could be a bearish retest, but it's looking good. It's looking very good. Uh, same for uh, the Nasdaq Top 100. Looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is looking good as well. Um, and we have the funding and premium index over here. Um, and I mean, Okay, fundings and premiums are going up, but we are attacking this very important um, horizontal over here, 35k. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, it is looking quite okay. Um, this is the line we are attacking right now. We had taps on it over here, taps on it over here, and this as well. Uh, but it's looking right, yeah, really good right now. Um, only problem is, like I said, the funding's going up. Ethereum. Ethereum has made a new all-time high. It touched 15, uh, sorry, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Um, of course, they can come back for a bullish retest. But if Ethereum moves, guys, if Ethereum moves, it moves fast and hard. Make sure you remember that. Um, like we can see over here, once Ethereum moves, breaks out, like over here, you know, over here, it went from uh, $250, $240 all the way up in, in almost one move to $400. Over here, you know, uh, it broke out uh, from 600 something all the way to in the first move, I would say 1100. So when Ethereum breaks, it moves very fast. So keep that in mind, you know. Ethereum, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw 3k next week, for example. Um, that might, so might, might sound ridiculous, it is ridiculous, but Ethereum does those things. Um, very bullish break over here. Um, the thing we do have left is this line. We are still in this consolidation pattern, but we did break this high over here. So that is good. That is good and more to come. Ethereum BTC, very strong move as well. Um, retested this line over here, uh, shakeout, whatever you want to call it, retested, came back again to make a higher low over here and then broke up this resistance over here. That resistance is from over here. And you know, larger time frame, it is very simple for me. 0.054 is where Ethereum BTC is heading. Um, I mean, yeah, everything looks good about it. Still a lot more room to the upside. ADA, request from a friend. Um, and, you know, ADA, price discovery. Really simple. On the daily, you know, we can see co uh, consolidations breaking. Um, or consolidations, we can even call it bull flags. You know, we're on the daily. Um, but still, it works on the daily as well. Really nice trend lines breaking. Uh, all that matters for me is horizontals and trend lines. So ADA, a lot more room to the upside. Um, Litecoin. Litecoin is basically kind of the same as Bitcoin. Um, but it's looking very good. Uh, these lines I've drawn, uh, I think, a month ago or something. But it's looking very good. Um, yeah, just walking the stairs to the resistances. Up next of resistances, you know, between 150 and 400, let's say, is this one. They touched that one. This one is next. And then I would say this one. 
but I mean they're doing very good um, they're just consolidating on a lower time frame it is looking very good and I would say they're about or breaking now uh, or already broke let's see yeah I would call this a break they're breaking out um, this is the level they need to attack $150 but it's looking good won't seem to have a lot of problem ADA ADA will probably do a little retest or something over here uh, is making a little bit of a flag but it's looking good I would think something like this let me check something like that is what I am seeing uh, totally normal perfectly uh, don't trade it with too much leverage because they like to do a little shakeout like over here from what is it let's say 170 back to 140 uh, so make sure you know you do not over leverage because they shake you out they will will not let you take a ride with high leverage uh, AF BTC looks like they're about to make a higher low over here very normal very good looking still um, sitting at, on top of support just making sure well it is the all-time high so making sure it is sitting there um, yeah strong uh, consolidating basically litecoin we just did that do we have anything else what is interesting for us let me take a look i did um yeah i did a nice um nice uh, long scallop last night uh, on xrp over here is where i bought it i was like this chart is just looking too bad it will take a little bounce and that is what it did you know broke out and i sold it at uh, around 40 cents and really happy about that out of it again because uh, fundamentally it is just um yeah a bad coin <laughs> still i know there are some people still who like sill had some questions about it not so long ago and i mean yeah this is still this is still the setup for me uh, i think you could long it already because they're making um this is an old chart i drew this i think weeks ago I'm not sure um yeah i mean if if they break this high or i would say right now i would say this high bring this down a little bit this is kind of where i would enter along something like this and target target unknown moon just moon uh, simple as that resistance coming up would be over here somewhere uh, but it's looking good everything's looking good only thing bad i would say is um funding rates funding rates are a bit on the high side hey do I need to refresh this? Let me check. Yeah. I mean, funding rates, as you can see, predicted are high. Current ones are high as well on Bybit and BitMEX. Those are the only two I look at. Um, and that is bad. Ethereum, same way. Very high funding rates. And that is the only bad news I have for today. The only bad news is high funding rates and the Dixie. But it seems like... The S&P 500 doesn't care about the Dixie, Bitcoin doesn't care about the Dixie, Ethereum doesn't care about the D Dixie, Nasdaq Top 100 doesn't care about the Dixie. So, I mean, it's good. Breaking those correlations, it is very good. Uh, Bitcoin, yeah, we just want to see higher highs. Support, when do you watch out? Well, if we break this line, I would say watch out, get out. Uh, other than that, you know, we keep making higher lows. This is a higher low, this is a higher low, this is a higher low, this is a higher low. And now it is about making uh, higher highs. Um, this is a higher high compared to this one. This is a higher high. And uh, yeah, right now we are also making higher highs compared to this, these two. Yeah, these two. Sorry. Um, and that is about it. Resistances. Let me take a look. This one. And this one and target right now would be around 40k, making a higher high than this one over there. Um, and that is about it for today. If you like my stuff and if you want to know more about me, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think. Make sure to hit the bell notification bu uh, button. Um, and yeah, if you have questions, make sure to ask them. You can also ask them on Twitter. I'm always open to talk. 
open to give some tips and um, yeah if you trade with some leverage make sure to use either the sign up the bybit one or the ftx uh, if you're a hodler um, don't panic too much looking at my videos sometimes i'm bearish sometimes i'm bullish but if you're a hodler there's one thing i know for sure and that is in four years bitcoin price will be higher than now that is not even a question for me that is something i'm very sure about so see you guys again tomorrow and make sure to subscribe